<laughs> thinking what I was thinking. Dude, they are in sync. Like, beyond belief. We need to destroy the ones they have created to stop them and stop them from making more. Just the two of us versus an entire underground city of the Walking Dead. It'll be a slaughter. That's the spirit. No, my slaughter. Two heroes against a whole army? Yes, two heroes against this army of darkness. I've always wanted a, bat wanted a desperate battle against incredible odds. Looks like you're going to get your chance, Ardix. Now, if only we had a map. Oh, look, there's one conveniently printed on the back of this necromancy university student handbook. It's weird that my hair cuts off the lettering there. You have obtained the Necro U handbook. Live the undead dream. We would love to show you the next greatest undead monster. The only problem is you have not made it yet. Necro Doom U. <laughs> oh my god. Get your degree online at... Uh, whatever. I'm not gonna try. With a minor in summoning. Enjoy special extracurricular activities, including hurling waves of undead at soldiers at the t undead soldiers at the town of Falcon Reach. First year students receive a Necronomicon free with enrollment. And um free something else to be continued. And this is a whole lot of undead right there. Or that is a whole lot of undead right there. If Noxus is able to hand off that army to Sepulcher, Fal Falcon Reach and the rest of Lore will fall into the darkness. You have to think of a way to stop him. Alright, we will do one more quest. I also appreciate that the uh, thing opens up now. Uh, sorry, um... Let's heal and invite Eric's back because that's important. All right. The body shop. Now that we have a map of the necropolis, we can really do some damage to those necromancers. Our, fir our first stop is the place they call the body shop. Okay. According to the map on the back of the handbook. This area is called the body shop. This is no time to look for loofahs and body wash that smells like fruit arctics. There is always time for personal hygiene, but it's not that kind of body shop. I mean, my first jump would have been to cars, but I guess they wouldn't really know about that. Handy dandy map. <laughs> According to the handbook, this is where they have their Build-A-Beast workshop. Oh, and it's worth four credits. This semester will be cake. <laughs> You're not actually attending. If we can get into the workshop, then we will be able to destroy the foul methods they use to make some of their monsters. Sabotage. Now this is my kind of quest. All we needed to do is get inside without being noticed. Then we can take out the necromancer who runs the workshop and vanish without a trace. We, sh we should try avoid, or try to avoid drawing any attention to ourselves. Says the guy who could have walked right past the guards but attacked them anyway. We're in luck. The necromancer is by himself. Good. That means we can do this quickly and quietly with no lights, please. Oops. Standing up in front of class with no idea what's going on. I've had, I think I've had this nightmare before. At least I'm fully dressed this time. <laughs> there must be less than 50 of them. We can take them. I don't think that's a great idea. If we blow our cover, we might never get back down to the necropolis. Yeah, but... Okay, fine. And that concludes the lecture portion of the class. Now I will need a few volunteers for the lab portion. How about the new guys? No! I beg your pardon? Uh, we missed the lecture. Maybe you should pick someone else. No, I think this will help you remember to get to class on time. May I be excused? I need to use the restroom. You should have thought of that on the way- You should have thought of that on your way to class. 
Can I go to the nurse's office? I feel sick. Hmm. Yes, you may. Really? Certainly. We get most of our body part donations from the nurse's office. I'm feeling better. For safety reasons, we will watch you from outside the lab. Safety reasons? Eventually, young necromancers, you will learn to control... You will learn to cre... To create creatures using... Sorry, the typo got me. Using your own dark powers. However, for now, we will use the university's SNM. Uh, okay. Simplified Necromancer Monstermatic. All the control you need, right? All the control that you need is right in front of you. Use the creature claw to grab the three spare parts from the part pit. As you grab them, three parts will show up in revival jars locked against the wall. Once you have all three parts, use it, the machine to create your monster, and we'll see what you come up with. That sounds easy enough. Be careful; sometimes the claw will grab an undead monster that is still partly functional. They will try and attack you, just use your ability to command the undead to drive them back into the pit. That could be a problem. Oh boy. And be very careful, that machine is not cheap. If you damage the lab, it will be... It will slow down monster production for sepulture. Uh, yeah, let's go upper left. You caught a skeleton, weird. Okay. If I remember correctly, this quest has a really weird, specific way it gets finished, which I'm not too keen on, because I feel like I was trying it forever. I caught a skeleton again, except this time it was an actual skeleton. Uh, upper right. This is the third skeleton in a row that we've got, according to the, uh, that. I guess lower right. Um, we'll just keep going until we get a part from the... We'll just keep choosing the same one until inevitably we get the thing we need. At least I think that would work. Unless I have to do this in some weird order. I don't remember the details of how this works. Part of me wants to say it's just random. Hold on, I will consult with the internet. Um, yeah, waste that combo on that thing that's gonna die in the first hit. Go, Ordix. Um, I think it does just happen randomly, unfortunately. Huh. This is gonna be tedious. I might level up though, so that's nice.
Oh, I found a part. Nice. Let's go with the lower left now. All right, that's two. All right, sweet. <clears throat> Cephalorachnid? Or something of that variety? I don't know. That's funny though. Thing has quite a bit of HP. Does it not weak to light? Oh, it actually resists light. That's not good. Uh, or it's other resistant. I don't think it resisted poison, so. Get him. We'll still hit him with our special moves with Artix because it's more. Or it's probably more likely to do damage than his regular attack. Ow. I'm gonna go ahead and hit restore. Oh, just one more turn and Artix would have got to use his... It's alright though. That little battle of yours totally destroyed this lab. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. The creature had to be destroyed. It was out of control. I think that's what it says. Of course it was. You were supposed to be controlling it. Master Noxus will not be pleased, but there's nothing we can do about it now. The lab was very this lab was very expensive. You will be hearing from the Necro you. I don't know what the word would be. Department. Now let me see your student ID a few weeks later. What? A letter from the school? What do those losers want? What? This is a bill for how much? <laughs> Oh, man. Well done. You've defeated your own very own Build-A-Beast and destroyed the body shop in the process. You may have slowed down production of the undead army, but Sepulcher is still on his way. Um, yeah, let's keep that for now. All right, so we've taken down the first page of these quests here. We will call that a day and finish up these next time until then thank you for watching and follow me to apex